<laughs> Tartalo Tartaro, Tartalo, or Torto in Basque mythology, is an enormously strong one-eyed giant very similar to the Greek Cyclops that Ulysses faced in Homer's Odyssey. He is said to live in caves in the mountains and catch young people in order to eat them, in some accounts, he also eats sheep. Alarobi is another name for the creature. Enzo, or Ancho, may also be equivalent, but some sources say this is another name for the Bezajan. Arturo, or Tartaroa, is the form given in some translated tales and commentary in French and English. Tordo, Enzo, and Alarobi were the forms listed in José Miguel Barandiaran's Basque mythology, with Tartalo described as a local variant particular to the Zegama region. Tartalo being a proper name was an idea floated by Barandi Aran, but here is an example of a tale in which three Tartaros appear. Enzo or Ancho is, however, explained as an alternate name for Beza John by some sources. Webster ventured that Ancho derived from Sancho. Tartaro has been described as the Basque equivalent to the Cyclops Polyphemus, and the similarity to this Cyclops in Homer's Odyssey is compelling, however, Direct derivation from Homeric sources may not be necessarily involved since parallels to these can be found worldwide. Saquon suggested that the name Tartaro derived from the Tartar people, just as the word Ogre derived from Hungarians, but Wentworth Webster agreed, though he expressed some doubt. Tartaro, according to folktale tradition, is a huge, one-eyed being who is usually cave-dwelling, capturing young folk or those who seek shelter in his cave and devouring them. In one oral account, the Tartaro ate one whole sheep each day. A mystical ring is a common theme in the Tartalo slash Tartaro tales. In one version, the Tartaro, a prince turned monster who needed a bride to turn back, makes a gift of a ring to a girl, and it turns out to be a talking ring, she cuts off her finger to rid herself of it, and the monster Webster noted this ring motif had its parallel in the Celtic, Scottish Gaelic, Conal Crabouillet. Connell Yellowclaw, published by John Francis Campbell. Still, none is to be found in classical sources. The motif of the hero blinding Tartaro has both a classical and Celtic, Irish, parallel, Odysseus blinding the Cyclops Polyphemus in Homer's Odyssey and Lug hurling a spear or projectile into the eye of Balor. One day, while two brothers of the Antimono Baseri were hunting, a storm broke, so they decided to take refuge from the rain in a cave which was Tartalo's cave. Soon after, Tartalo appeared with his flock of sheep. He saw the two brothers and said, one for today and the other for tomorrow. That same day, he cooked and ate the eldest one, and then he went to sleep. While he was sleeping, the youngest brother stole Tartalo's ring, and then he stuck the roasting spit in his only eye. Tartalo was blind, but not dead yet. He started to look for the boy among his sheep but he put on a sheep's skin and escaped from Tartalo. But, unluckily, when he got out of the flock of sheep, the accuser started to shout, Here I am, here I am. Tartalo got out of his cave, and he started to run after the ring, hearing its shouts. The young one wasn't able to take off the ring, so when he arrived at the edge of a cliff, he cut off his finger, and since Tartalo was near, he decided to throw it down the cliff. Tartalo, following the ring's shouting, fell off the cliff, 